welcome back to Maple Madness. I'm Kate Boddicker. And I'm Isaac Swatsky. For our last episode here together, we're taking a look at the final game with UConn's stunning performance, a season recap, and a look at what's next for the league and the future of Maple Madness. So Isaac, obviously the last game has been played. What were your thoughts on how everything went and how they finished out this historic tournament? UConn continued to be dominant and showed no weakness Monday night. The game was close for the first 10 minutes, but after that, it was rather uneventful. The combination of San Diego State's archaic offense, UConn's top 20 defense, and top five offense led to Huskies' domination. UConn now has five total national championships and four in the last 20 years. Here are a couple stats to point out just how dominant UConn was this past tournament. First, they won every single game in the tournament by at least 13 points. That's six games if you're counting. The average margin of victory was actually around 20 points. This trend was also apparent in the regular season, where the Huskies won all of their non-conference games by double digits. Well, I know for me, a 16 seed beating a 1 seed for only the second time ever was a pretty big deal. So what were some of your biggest moments from the tournament this year? Yeah, I will start with what I believe were some of the instant classics from this year's tournament. As mentioned previously, UCLA versus Gonzaga was awesome. And then the final four, FAU versus San Diego State was a great game. In the early rounds, I really liked TCU versus Arizona State. Some other memorable moments were Jerome Tang and the Kansas State Wildcats on and off the court. And Kansas now has a new found enemy in Eric Musselman after you ripped off his shirt beating us in the round of 32. I guess beating the school with the most wins in all of Division I will do that too. There are many moments, of course, but these were some of the biggest to me. So Isaac, this year obviously was crazy. What can we expect from the tournament next year? With the transfer portal, it is harder than ever to know who will be good year in and year out. I do think, however, that there are a few teams that are bringing back important pieces, and as of right now, we have a very good idea who those teams will be. A couple teams to highlight from that list are Marquette, Duke, and Purdue. Keep in mind that this can change in an instant. Big moves can be made in the transfer portal. Who knows which teams will make a splash there. Let me close with this. As you know by now, Kate, I like Kansas. There will, they will always be an elite team. Always have, always will. So obviously there were a ton of big moments in this tournament. Will there ever be a march quite like this one again? No, of course not. Jim Nance has called his last March Madness game ever. Jim, you'll be missed and an absolute legend. Anyways, it is called March Madness for a reason and it's going to be hard to top this year. I think that with the transfer portal, lower seeds will continue to close the gap between the elite and mid-major to low-major programs. The portal is king and it allows players who 10 years ago would probably waste away their college career at the end of a big bench, now have a chance to transfer and make an immediate impact at a smaller school. However, NIL is also king and this may lead to high major schools with the best NIL programs dominating the game. Well, I don't know about you, Isaac, but I've had so much fun these last couple weeks, and I can't wait to see you back here next year. March for me is the best month of the year, and it's all because of this tournament. So thank you for talking about college basketball with me this past month. I completely agree. It's been so much fun. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Maple Madness with our season finale. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next year for even more Maple, Maple Madness. Madness. Why do we have four on right now? Kate was standing on this the entire time. <laughs> the Bullying. Entire time. Except Bullying. episode one. Except episode the one. The entire time. Bullying.